Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to BMW E90 HQ. It's that time again. We're going to be changing the oil in my 2009 BMW 335i. Now, recently I already did a video on this, so I'm not going to bore you with how to change the oil. If you want to see that video, go ahead and check it out. I'll card it here. So today I'm going to be using a different type of oil. Uh, previously, I ran 0W40 Mobile One. Now I am going to be running diesel oil, Shell, Rotella, T6, Synthetic, Extreme Temperature, blah, 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 5W40. Now, you might be saying, Will, what is wrong with you? This is a gas car. Why in the world are you going to put diesel oil in it? Do you just want your car to die? And my answer is no, I'm not foolish. Now, uh, I've done a bit of research. Some people run uh, this in their car. Uh, people seem to recommend changing it more frequently if you run this type of oil as opposed to a, a regular gasoline oil. Uh, I change my oil every 5,000 miles anyway. It's actually just under 5,000 miles since I changed it, but this is just about the best time I'm going to have to change it for a while, so I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the way today. Now, so the reasons I uh, kind of decided to go with this was, first of all, my mechanic, who I take my car to when it has issues that I can't work on myself, he uses modal diesel oil, 5W40, I think 8100, I, I want to say is the exact you know number. So this is the same specs, basically, it's just made by Shell, it's considerably cheaper. Um, and basically, the N54 has a lot in common with a diesel motor, to be honest. I mean, yeah, it's not a diesel motor, it's a gas motor, but diesels are almost always turbocharged, so they have additives in the oil to help with turbo seals and, and you know, lubricate turbos better than just a, a gasoline car does. So that's one reason. Uh, Another reason is that this car is, you know, under a lot of pressure. It's under a lot of boost. So same thing with the turbos. But diesels, we know that they run on compression as opposed to spark. So uh, they're under a lot of pressure too. So this kind of oil will be able to hold up to that kind of stuff. Uh, it's getting really cold here. So this is like extreme temperature. So it should be good for starting in the cold and all of that stuff too. I mean, I, I wouldn't call it extreme, but it does get cold here. I mean, we're... You know, I'm seeing my oil temp be, you know, in the 60s. And, I mean, I start my car and I go back inside and I come back after five minutes or so and drive off. And my oil temp will be in the 70s after that. So I'm imagining that it's in the low 60s or high 50s in the morning when I started. I don't plug my phone into the car and go back inside. You know, I, I plug it in once I come back out. So I'm not 100% sure on that, but I know it's cold. And this should be better for that. Um... Another thing is that diesels, you know, since they're direct injection, just like the N54, they suffer from carbon buildup and things of that nature too. So there should be, there will be additives in the oil to prevent against that. And uh, like I said, I did research and people have run Shell Rotella T6 many, many times and had no issues with it at all. They just changed their oil. I mean, I think that from reading online and I've kind of come to the conclusion that as long as you put oil in your N54, you'll probably be okay. But I just want to make sure that I have, um, you know, maybe not the best because, you know, once you get to a certain point, it's, it's, you know, it's not that worth paying double or triple for a different brand. But I want to make sure that I have very good quality oil. So uh, not sponsored, obviously. Um, I doubt Shell knows I exist. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and do this. So I'm going to go ahead and jack the car up, put this in. And like I said, I'm not going to bore you with all of that. So I'll come back to you after I've done everything of that nature. And, um, you know, started the car up, we'll go drive around and uh, make sure everything is good to go. So, um, yeah, all right, I'll check back in in a few minutes. So at this point, I'm just going to check my oil catch can since I'm already do it in here anyway. So that's the oil in the oil catch can. That's from oil change to oil change basically, 5,000 miles. So definitely doing its job. Uh, check out my video on my knockoff uh, BMS oil catch can. This is from eBay. 
these scratches on it are my fault. I, I was trying to turn it the wrong way. For some reason, it's reverse threaded, so it's, it's righty loosey, lefty tighty instead. I was trying to do it the wrong way, and I used an oil wrench trying to turn it, and I just, you can see I've scratched it all up, but it's fine. I'm a, I'll just sand it down or something. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna just dump that oil in with the rest of the oil from the oil change and uh, throw this thing back on the car. All right, guys, so now the oil's been changed. I'm running the Shell 5W40 Rotella. This is just first start. I uh, just started the car a moment ago. I uh, just made sure everything was right, like it wasn't leaking out of the bottom. Uh, you know, the cap was sealed, the uh, oil filter housing where the filter goes is all good. You know, just the little things, just to make sure that I didn't mess something up. Uh, anyway, so let's go do a drive. I don't have um, my Android device with me, so I'm not going to know like what I'm boosting or anything like that. I'm just going to wait for the oil gauge to come off 160 uh, to, before I give it any real power. And um, yeah, let's do it. Well guys, I can report right now just from driving up and down my street that uh, it feels exactly the same. You know, it doesn't drive any different or any of that stuff than it did with the Zero W40 just from that. But, I mean, it's oil. I didn't really expect any difference. I really just wanted to make this video, guys, to kind of show you that, you know, you can kind of, you can run different types of oil. You can kind of play around with it, figure out what works for you. I mean, definitely don't use some cheap, like, you know, Walmart or Amazon brand, you know, oil. That's That would be a terrible idea. But, you know, if you use oil that's within a good spec for a high-performance car, especially if you're tuned, I mean, if you're not tuned, and you could probably just run whatever BMW says, you know, they, I think they recommend Shell 5W30 synthetic. Um, but when you're tuned and you're modified, and I'm not extremely modified, I mean, I still have the stock downpipes. I was going to order them, the new ones, but my cat had to go to the vet guys so um it's just gonna be pushed back another uh two weeks basically uh so i'll get them i'll get them real soon get them on the car i can't wait to do it i'm really excited for it and once i get the down pipes on i'm gonna figure out what i want to do with the exhaust but i don't want to make any more changes to the exhaust until after i have the down pipes on the car i know what it sounds like and then i can make a more informed decision from there based on how it sounds then so, um, yeah, that's basically the plans right now. Um, no major plans for the car. Like I said, I'm really trying to save money. I'm trying to get our driveway paid, build a garage, all that good stuff. So, um, you know, I'm really trying to not throw a ton of money into this car at the moment. So I'm just kind of trying to fix it as it goes and get the down pipes because, I mean, really, it's a 335i. It needs down pipes. I mean, that is just... you know. So I'm just now I'm just waiting for the car to warm up. Still under 160, so... Bear with me guys, I'll cut and I will come back once it has hit 160, we'll hit a few, do a few quick pulls, and then I'm going to go take the car back home. I'm behind another 3, I'm behind a 335i that looks just like my 328i did can't turn the camera around to show you guys sorry but I mean you know what my car used to look like kind of missed the black takes forever for this car to get off of 160 I mean really takes forever and a day well, maybe while we're sitting at this red light it will start ticking up I wouldn't hold my breath though oh it did it's coming off 160 all right, let's do a pull. This is a great spot to do a pull. It's higher speed limit area. It's a straightaway. Let's get going. Let's get up to like. We're moving. All right, let's do it. Traction. Well, like I said, I really didn't feel much. I mean, we broke traction. I should have waited till we we're going a bit faster. I really need some better tires. Um, what do you guys run? I have factory sport wheels, so I have um. They're 18 inches, the stock tires are 255, and they have those garbage run-flat Bridgestones that BMW recommends on them, and they're so easy to lose traction. I mean, I was going 35 miles an hour and put my foot down and lo just lost traction right then. So, um, you know, I had Federals on the, the uh, 328i and on the fronts for a little while, and they gripped. They gripped. I mean, I need. I was gonna get some for the back, but then I just wound up selling the car instead. Um, 
thinking about just getting a set of those for the rear because I do have tread. Like I'm not, I don't have a problem with not having tread, but I, uh, I lost my train of thought. I, I just want to have, you know, you know, something where I can do pulls and I'm not just spinning tires all the time, you know. So let me know in the comments below. Anyway, guys, so that's my, um, you know, first impressions of running the 5W40 Shell T6 Rotella. Like it if you drop a like if you thought this video was informative and helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, guys.